Turkey's program to upgrade M60T tanks can be used directly on Taiwan's M60A3. Some time ago, the M60 tank, which has been in service in Taiwan for decades, finally saw an upgrade program with plans to replace the engine with a new one and upgrade the tank's firing, fire control, and targeting systems. This begs the question, what about the 105mm gun on Taiwan's M60A3 tanks? The Turkish M60 tanks upgrade program replaces a new 120mm smoothbore gun, can this gun be used in Taiwan? Recently, more details of the Turkish M60 tanks upgrade program MZK, have been revealed, including a redesigned modular turret. This was allegedly originally developed for the T-72 tank but is now used to upgrade the M60 tank. In addition to this, a new type of display has been installed in the crew compartment, and slat armor has been added to the turret's tail compartment. The fire control and sighting equipment has been upgraded, and a new explosive reactive armor has been installed. For Turkey, other improvements had already been made to the existing M60T tank. The engine was replaced by a German MTU with 1,000 horsepower. The tank gun was replaced with a 44x caliber 120mm smoothbore gun, and composite armor was added. The M60A3, on the other hand, is the ace tank of the Taiwanese army, equipped in the armored units of Kinmen, Penghu, and the Corps, and will be the mainstay of beachhead counterattacks in future anti-landing operations. The problem with this tank is that it is too old, having been purchased as retired U.S. Army equipment, and is now in dire need of upgrading. In order to replace the M60A3, Taiwan had already planned to buy M1A1 tanks in 2015, when the models were already selected and were basically the same as the M1A1 used by Australia. Taiwan media even reported that the procurement program has entered the procurement process of the Taiwan government and will start in 2017 to allocate the budget. In 2020, Taiwan can be equipped with refurbished M1A1 tanks. But in the end, for a number of reasons, Taiwan did not succeed in purchasing the M1A1 and had to choose to upgrade to the M60A3. At the beginning, Raytheon Company and Israel IMI Company gave Taiwan the option to upgrade the M60A3 tank improvement program, but Taiwan ultimately chose to modify their own. The matter dragged on for several years, and the end result was only two upgrades. Taiwan signed a 7.245 billion new Taiwan dollars deal with Rank America to replace the M60A3 tanks engine with a new engine and with the National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology Xist, to replace the fire control and sighting systems. Taiwan's M60A3 tanks were equipped with engines that produced only 750 horsepower, and the overall performance of the engines had declined due to the age of the vehicles and the length of time they had been in use. Rank America's new engine, with a power of 1,000 horsepower, is expected to be fully replaced by 2028. Meanwhile, Inksist will replace the M60A3 tank with a new fire control system with an upgrade quantity of 40 vehicles, which is expected to be completed in October 2025. If the results of subsequent tests and evaluations are satisfactory, the upgrade will be carried out in batches and on a large scale in the future. However, compared to Taiwan's initial upgrade program, the M60A3 upgrade program this time is not a large upgrade. In the M60A3's initial upgrade program, the first step was to replace the 105mm tank gun. Taiwan has a very large number of tanks and currently has 460 M60A3 TTS, 450 CM11, and 100 CM12 converted from M48A3, for a total of 1,010 main battle tanks. There are also about 60 M41D light tanks. The best of the tank guns these tanks were equipped with was the M68 105mm gun, capable of penetrating 600mm of armor at a distance of 2,000 meters, a performance that was far behind current tank gun technology. So in the M60A3 upgrade program, the first priority is to upgrade the original tank gun to 120mm, that is, the US 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, which is the US Army's current M1A2 tank gun. 
It was also intended to replace the turret's hydraulic and pitching mechanisms with electric drives. McSyst had planned to use the experience gained from the previous development of the 30mm turret for the CM-31 armored vehicle to develop the tank's fire control system and technologies related to the electric turret. This included a redesign of the fire control system to incorporate a rapid targeting system to improve targeting accuracy and reduce shot preparation time. The turret was converted to an all-electric, high-torque rotary motor, which compensated for the slow rotation and oil leakage of the hydraulic motor on the M60A3's turret. The M60A3's defense was also upgraded with the addition of explosive reactive armor and a reinforced chassis in order to improve the protection of the M60A3's body and turret. This will increase the weight of the tank to about 55 tons, and the maximum power of the diesel engine is to be increased to more than 950 horsepower. Taiwan's plan is to change to a 1200 horsepower engine. After the modification, the M60A3 tank can reach the standard of the third generation tank in terms of mobility, defense, and firepower. However, the cost is a bit expensive, estimated to be more than $3 million per unit. This price is equivalent to a T90. Later on, Taiwan purchased 108 M1A2 T tanks, which means the budget available to modify the M60A3 is more limited. That's why this upgrade program finally became what it is today, namely, only the engine and fire control are upgraded. Taiwan's current M60A3 TTS is actually an M60A3 with a thermal imaging site. The CM11, on the other hand, uses the M60A3 chassis with the M48A3 turret. The fire control system comes from the M1 tank. The US calls it the M48H and Taiwan calls it the CM-11. There is also a CM-12, which is actually an improved version of the M-48A3. Replacing the original gasoline engine with a diesel engine, installing a new transmission and tracks, adding a thermal imaging site, and essentially changing very little. Both the M60A3 TTS and the CM-11 and CM-12 are attempts by Taiwan to upgrade with limited military spending. Now, upgrading the engine and fire control of the M60A3 is a better option than these above modifications. But it is still not good enough compared to other countries' M60 tank upgrade programs. In order to upgrade its own M60A3, Taiwan has been paying attention to other countries' M60 tank upgrade programs. In addition to the US Super M60 tank, there is also Jordan's M60 Phoenix tank, Israel's Magic 7 and Sabra 1 Malawi in Kwacha, and Turkey's M60T in cooperation with Israel. Among these upgrades, except for the Israeli Magic 7, which did not change the tank gun, all of them adopted the more powerful 120mm gun. Compared to the other upgraded versions of the M60, Taiwan rates the Turkish M60T the highest. The M60T is an M60 turret and hull mounted with add-on armor, followed by explosive reactive armor. The tank gun was also upgraded to a 120mm smoothbore gun, and the engine was a 1000 horsepower MTU engine. Although Taiwan has now purchased M1A2T from the US, there are only 108 of them, which will equip about two armored brigades. And before these M1A2T tanks are actually shipped to Taiwan, anything can happen, and they may be cancelled due to capacity constraints. Taiwan's previous order for 40 M109A6 was cancelled due to capacity constraints. Taiwan is planning to downsize its tank force by reducing the number of tanks in service to 600, of which 108 will be M1A2T and 200 will be modified and upgraded M60A3. Of the remaining 260 M60A3 and 450 CM11, 300 will be selected for life extension. The remaining tanks, including all CM12S and some CM11, have been withdrawn from active service and sealed. Of course, this option is uncertain now, and there are some issues involved. Taiwan's large number of newly formed reserve brigades will also need tanks, so this may be a matter of picking and choosing from those sealed tanks. 
and the combat effectiveness of Taiwan's army can't drop after the number of tanks is reduced. But the M60A3's 105mm gun is weak, so how do you upgrade Taiwan's current M60A3 TTS? The way is simple, separately ship the parts and subsystems needed for the upgrade to Taiwan and then assemble them. This method has a successful precedent in Taiwan. In Taiwan's self-developed submarine program, there was no way to independently develop and manufacture some of the important components needed for the submarine. So Taiwan bought marine engines, sonar, and communication systems from Western European countries. This time, Turkey already has a mature design program and has already batch-modified its own M60. And Taiwan rated Turkey's M60T upgrade program very highly. The point is that this can be used not only for M60A3 TTS upgrades but for CM11 as well. So it's entirely possible that Taiwan could use the Turkish program to upgrade their existing M60A3 TTS. Of course, the above ideas are just possibilities. In the latest situation, Xist's upgrade plan for M60A3 is to make full use of the limited funds. And the Taiwanese army has been uncertain about its attitude toward replacing the large caliber tank gun with the same. To increase the firepower of the M60A3, regardless of whether or not you can get a 120mm smoothbore gun, the cost of the conversion alone is too high for Taiwan. Why didn't Taiwan follow the original plan to upgrade? The most important reason is that it would cost too much money. These M60A3 were decommissioned by the US Army before being handed over to Taiwan, and the maintenance status of the tanks was not good enough. This time, Taiwan Xist will need to do a refurbishment of these tanks to replace some parts that have long been impossible to find on the market. All in all, I think it is unlikely that Taiwan's M60A3 will change the tank gun. One thing the war between Russia and Ukraine has proven is that tanks play a greater role in modern warfare as a mobile fire pivot for mechanized infantry. If you consider supporting the infantry, the 105mm line gun has the added advantage of better accuracy and the small size of the ammunition. Even without replacing the 120 tank gun, it could still deal with those light tanks and armored vehicles. As for the enemy's main battle tanks, leave it to the M1A2T. Do you guys think Taiwan's M60A3 tanks will be replaced with the 120mm smoothbore gun? Leave your comments below the video and we'll see you next time.